forget. Now joining me on the line is uh, super middleweight Vaughn Alexander, who will be traveling to France on December 17th to take on the upstart rising undefeated uh, big time. Uh, they're calling big time prospect Christian and Billy. Uh, Vaughn, how you doing tonight? I'm good, my man. Um, just got done training. Uh, I'm good, man. So they're bringing you all, all the way to France to take on Christian and Billy. Uh, what are your thoughts as we tape this for about a, about th- a little less than three three weeks out, about two and a half weeks out? How you feeling? Oh, man, I'm, um, as always, I'm always good. I'm always in tremendous shape. Um, um, it's a, I, I guess for them, it's a short notice. But for me, I, I'm, I'm always ready for whoever. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to this challenge. What are you seeing in Billy? I know you've faced a lot of prospects, undefeated guys, contenders, or uh, that type of thing. And Billy's a guy that I know who's fought a lot in Canada. I guess they're bringing him home to his home area in France. What are your thoughts on him? Uh, he, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a solid fighter. He's pretty good. Um, but, um, I mean, it's a lot of things that, you know, I will use, you know, in, 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 in this fight against him. Uh, I'm not going to say what, but it's a, it's a lot of things that, you know, I'm going to use that I have that a lot of fighters that, you know, he's faced, you know, I've watched, um, you know, highlights of, you know, a lot of his fights. And, you know, of course, you know, I, you know, uh, when I, when I sign on that dollar dotted line, I, I get straight to the, to the point of looking at, you know, what they're good at, um, the mistakes they make. And um, it's a lot of things that, you know, I see that I can use, you know, with my style. I know you haven't been in the ring with him yet, but how, how does he stack up with some of the guys that you've been in the ring with? Um, I, I can't I can't really say um, from what I see. Um, he's a he's a good fighter. Um, he's he looked like he's strong. Um, he uh, he come forward. Um, um, I, I, I can tell that he be in tremendous, tremendous shape in all of, all of his fights, um, which is a, which is a good thing. Um, uh, but stacking up to whom I, I face, I mean, I can't really say until I get in there with him. They, uh, cause I, I guess maybe the comparisons maybe to Parker, who was undefeated coming in, and Melikuziev, who was undefeated coming in, those type of guys who were uh, Anthony Sims, Money Pal, some of those guys who were undefeated coming in, I guess, uh, you know, um, are the ones that, that I guess may, maybe I was may asking, the, you know, the comparison, you know, before you get in the ring, do you, does he fare just by looking at him? Does he... Is he fair? Compare? Is he comparable to those guys? Better or on the same level? Just by looking at just by looking at the film. Just by looking at him, um, I, I would say I would say yeah. You've uh, been fighting a lot around 157, 160. You've been 168. You know, you're. Where do you? I think I've asked you this question before. You feel you probably feel most comfortable middleweight, correct? I'm. <laughs> yes, I'm. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm always in in a predicament where you know, you get a fight. You know, what I'm saying at middleweight like Luis Arias, mm-hmm. and you know, I beat him, and you know, uh, other guys that I've beaten at you know middleweight, and I can't get no fights at middleweight. So, um, you know. I've had this year alone, I've had at least eight eight fights scheduled and everybody pull out. You you know I even traveled overseas, all the way overseas. You even you traveled overseas and weighed in and the fight was canceled in the morning of the fight. <laughs> and I no 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 no. They 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 listen, they canceled that right before we was gonna go to the arena. Maybe it was a morning for y'all, but over there we we was on our way. 
Do, do you feel obviously a fight like this, you know, where you're fighting some of these guys you fought here in the States where, you know, you go in, you, you know, you're the underdog, you know, you know, you're the, the you know, you're going all the way over to, uh, to France. Maybe, I, I don't know. Do you feel the, the deck is stacked against you even that much more? Um, I can't, you know, at, at this point, you know, I can't even, you know, I can't even let that cross my mind because, you know, if 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 I win, I'm 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 looking to get the the decision or what however it go. If if I win, I'm looking to them raising my hand. It doesn't matter if I'm in his back door or his backyard or whatever. You know, a win is a win. And if I, I feel if I won and if they know that I won, I, I so I can't really go. I just gotta go and stick to my game plan, do what I need to do round by round, make sure I'm winning these rounds, and, you know, I, I leave it up, you know, um, to, to you know, to God, man. I don't, I can't, I can't really, uh, I can't really worry about, you know, no odds or no deck stacked against me. That's, I'm just going to do my job. And I know you, you've already, you know, you fought once uh, with Parker in England. You were supposed to fight again, as you mentioned. The fight was uh, canceled as you went to the arena. Now uh, going to France. Uh, you, you, you excited about the opportunity? I know you. I know it's a business trip, but you know it's uh, it's a little new territory. You, you excited to get over there and, and check out France a little bit? Uh, of course, man. It's it's always good to you know see the world. That's what you know. The one thing that boxing brings you know, people like me, it, it take you to different places that you probably wouldn't, uh, you know, um, travel to. So, you know, of course, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, being on that soil and, you know, um, seeing some new things. When are you going over there? Um, I think mo the Monday of the fight. Oh, so you won't be, uh, I, I was, you know, just, you know, doing a little research for the interview. I see you turned 37 on, on the 10th of December. So uh, I was figuring uh, maybe, maybe you'd be spending your birthday in France. Uh, most definitely. I'll be, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Now, the, well, by what you said, you're probably going to be over there on like the 13th or something, the 12th or 13th. The 12th, no, nah, I'll be here because the 12th, I think, is the Monday. Yes. So, you know, but it, the, 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 the victory, I'm not worried about my birthday. <laughs> the, the victory is, you know, my birthday present to myself. So and what do you, what do you I, think? I will, I will win, bro. What do you I think will. a victory does? Obviously, you're coming off, like you said, the, uh, the, the you know, you, you had, a I guess, a stay busy fight in June. But the fight before that with Arias. The draw with nineteen and one, Winford Harris. Uh, so you know you, you're two zero and one in your last uh, your last three. A win, you know, makes you three zero and one with a win over you know a guy, a big time prospect. A win, a win even uh, sets you up for something more significant. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel with this win, you know, I feel that you know the guys at one sixty, they wouldn't have no problem or wouldn't have no choice but to fight me because. You know, me uh, constantly beating people like this and especially someone, you know, that's, you know, they are moving to uh, put him in there with, you know, uh, so, some of these top guys and maybe fight for a world title. Me beating him, man, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer. I mean, I, I, need, I need to be in there with some of the top guys at 160. Uh, and Billy, he's a, he, he's not the biggest guy. He's, a, he's listed at five, eight and a half. Do you feel, you know, that even though he's a strong puncher being five, eight and a half, he's more, I guess your speed, you, you know, your size, uh, not being a, a huge super middleweight. Um, possibly. Um, he, I mean, he he's at the way he's at. I mean, Mike Tyson wasn't tall. Mike Tyson, my height. I, I'm five ten and a half. So um, 
we we know height is you know only play a role in a in in a not in boxing height doesn't it doesn't in in, in particular fights it possibly does but most of the time you know when you uh are in there with you know top fighters height doesn't matter i think it's your skills and you know i've seen him he's fought guys that was very tall um so you know in his case you know height doesn't matter well what do you want to say to the fans in closing before that you go you'll be taking on undefeated christian and billy on december the 17th in france uh big car there uh what do you want to say vaughn alexander uh i just want to thank all those that followed me um to continue to support me and uh i'm looking forward to you know this fight i'm i'm i am not man i'm actually looking forward to you know uh fighting somebody um similar to me and you know i'm i always want to i always want to see you know um I, I haven't been in there with no one yet that would actually like, like fight me, you know, with no movement. Uh, we just fight, and I'm looking, I'm looking forward to this. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I promise you, I'm looking forward to, you know, going toe to toe with this guy, and you know, I want to see where I fur, and I want to see where he at. Well, we wish you and uh, your trainer, Montel Griffin, who I actually just did a broadcast with uh, last month in Chicago. I did, did a broadcast of uh, one of Bobby Hitch's shows. I first time meeting your trainer, Montel, and uh, we wish you guys the best of luck o- over in, in uh, France. Oh, man, I definitely appreciate you, man. And um, listen, bro, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be a good it's going to be a good trip, man, especially with me coming back with that W. So I appreciate you, man. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, speaking to you again soon. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you, my man. Thank you.